everyone. It's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here today to work on and have some fun with Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And this week we get to make uh, belly bands. So I got some things organized here. I pulled, look what I pulled out of my, look at all these scraps of file folder. Perfect for belly bands, right? <laughs> I have all of these I found in there. So this is my little scrap box over here. I know you've seen it before. And so here are some pieces I cut down because I thought here's a couple pieces of the file folder I just showed you and some green cardstock. And this is a cardstocky type envelope. So I got I have all these strips. I don't know if we'll get all these done. So I'm gonna put, I have my little paper cutter here, my little mini one in case I need that. But I wanna kind of put this out of the way for the moment over here I have a chair beside me I'm gonna stick it over there for the moment so I can spread out have some room here <clears throat> but I pulled out all these bits and pieces I found all of these in my scrap box except for this right here and these words <laughs> so everything else is pretty much scraps so let's get down to business and see how many we can get done I kind of want to do these first because it's see how they're playing on the back but it's the perfect thing to cover up. I can go ahead and, you know, I mean, I could use them like this uh, and then plan on putting that side down. I guess I could do that. But, I mean, the whole thing is going to be covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll go ahead and use this and plan on uh, putting that down onto a page. So these I want to do. Um, I've done horizontal and vertical type belly bands. So these I'm going to do vertical. I mean, horizontal. So this way, all of these, so they can go across the page this way. And these, all of these, I'm going to do vertical. So we're going to try to do, we'll see how many we can get done. So what Rachel did this week was collage first. And the idea is to <clears throat> put some pieces, uh, let's see, I have some flowers here that I kind of want to, I think I'm going to be using first. These are some flowers I just printed out from... I think from Pinterest. And then I have, uh, let's see, I think it's in my scrap box. This right here from another project. I put some leftovers in here and there's some mushrooms in here. Some mushrooms I had cut out from a, a leftover from a project, right? I have the mushroom, mushroom Melody digital kit in my Etsy shop. And so this is from my own kit. <laughs> Super cute. I love mushrooms. So I thought maybe we could use some of these. These are just, I had cut all of these out for a project and didn't use them all because I just made I love them and I just cut out too many because I love them and I have some bunnies here so instead of talking I want to get down to business though so let's do it uh, so first what Rachel did was before the, the fun pretty stuff she collaged with basic kind of um, scraps and like she said it's a great scrap buster kind of project so uh, she I think she tore I'm going to be using art glitter glue and I think she tore most of hers uh, pieces and put them down and the idea is to have them hanging over have them hanging over the edge we're not going to cut them or measure them really except to by eye and the idea is to have them hang over and then whatever you put on there have it hanging over the sides and then you cut it off at the end and see it's a surprise like what do you end up with right so let's do let's do this this is the widest one here so let's do that one first since this is kind of a wide piece this way so let's see I'm going to tear it right here let me make a little fold while I'm gonna tear <laughs> this is how I measure right so I'm gonna tear right there but I'm gonna use my ruler to get a straight tear so and this is an old piece of ledger that is really cool. I mean, very old, like early 1900s. So perfect for collaging. Is it two pieces? Hold on. It feels very thick. No, it's just one piece. It's just the paper. <laughs> it's thick paper, I guess. Okay, so let's see how my art glitter glue is working today. Yep, it's flowing. All right. Good sign. Good sign. Hope it keeps going. You never know when it's going to stop and you have to poke your little pin in there and get it going again, right? <laughs> So I hope everyone had a good good day today. 
or and it's well this will be posted tomorrow morning so i hope everyone has a good day today or tomorrow <laughs> you know what i mean uh let's see should i get my little glue bat poured out here i'm trying to clean my mat i've got some glue like on here that won't come off that gets dried on like you know it's art glitter glue and fabric tack and um so oh what's this one of my mushrooms so it uh oh it is two pieces no wonder it felt like two pieces it is two pieces i just couldn't get them apart okay so we've got that one glued down and it is sticking over but yeah i'm i have some glue on there i'm trying to get it off i got some goo gone and I, that didn't get it off so i'm going to try some alcohol i think next but if you know how to get glue off of a off a cutting mat let me know if maybe if you guys can let me know if you know how because I, you know, I want to keep this nice. I want to keep this nice. I really like the pink one. And I picked this pink one, uh, cutting mat up at a thrift store. And like, how often am I going to find a pink cutting mat at a thrift store? I don't think uh, too often, right? So if I were to mess this one up and want to get a new one, I'd have to get actually pay full price for one. <laughs> and who wants to do that, right? I think this one only cost me $3.99. So, and you know how much big, this is a big cutting mat, so... Uh, it's not one of those little tiny ones, so uh, yeah, I should keep my eyes open in case I ever see another pretty one and just get a spare, right? Uh, so that would be a good idea. But I've never, I've only ever seen this one at a thrift store. So I'm trying to clean off my pin. Why am I doing that? Okay, so I've got my little glue board here. I should get a bigger glue board, right? This is a you know a hot plate type of thing, and I've got. My allergy's going, so excuse me for a moment. All right, so what else can I put on here? Uh, I've got all kinds of pretty papers here. I've got some music. Let's see what that, this will take up the rest of this piece right here. I don't want this, these holes on here, though. That's going to be hard to glue down flat. So let me get my little cutter and cut off these holes. Okay, this is... A little cutter I like to use when I'm just doing little things like this and so I don't have my big one over here taking up a lot of room and I got this at a thrift store for 99 cents one time so and it comes with I never I didn't even have to really replace the um, blade it cuts pretty good as you can see it's a Fiskars okay so some music let's see if we can put a piece of this down here so we get a little neutral background and then and then we'll uh <clears throat> then we'll put some pretty stuff on on top of this let's get all of our backgrounds maybe really quick maybe quick and I th i'm thinking maybe sewing on top of these when they're done around the edges would be cool but we'll see. I mean, art glitter glue is going to, or whatever glue I'm using here, Habitat or art glitter glue is going to hold it down. I need a strip right here of something. And, oh, I have, here's a perfect little thing right here, some ledger. Let's put a piece of, there's a hole right here, so I'm going to tear that off. And then tear off a piece of this to fit down here at the bottom. It's a yellow ledger, and it's got bluish, or almost um, kind of aqua uh, lines and pink lines so it's really pretty there we go so it's that piece is covered with our new what I'm going to call our neutral pieces okay so these are the verticals okay let's see let's do this one different uh, let's put this here you know we don't want them to all be the same and then if you're learning how to collage, this would be a good uh, learner's type, you know, collaging project because you're dealing with a small space. So you're only really putting probably a few pieces together. Right? Okay, that and what else? I've got a strip of wallpaper. That would not quite take up. Let's put that over here, the wallpaper. But the idea of collaging is 
to layer things. So you can't be afraid to layer your things, right? So if you put something, I have a problem with that a little bit of covering up things. So I'm trying to um, not worry about that too much, but my whole thing is just, I just want it to look pretty in the end. <laughs> if, it, if it looks pretty in the end, it doesn't matter what I covered up or didn't cover up. The end result is what I'm after. Pretty end result, right? Okay, so that and see, I've got a bright little piece of, oh, and on this side, it's not so bright. I guess I, that doesn't fit. I like that there though. Let's go ahead and put this. See, this is a brighter and this is a lighter side. I'm going to glue down this bright side and keep the lighter side up, even though it's going to be covered up, probably most or mostly, mostly covered up. But it's got little, what does it have on either side here? <clears throat> it has little um, ice cream sundaes and cupcakes on it. <laughs> it's a piece of scrapbook paper. Okay, so that's cute, right? Now, let's see what else. I've got some doily here that I wouldn't mind using up. Let's see. Here's a strip. <clears throat> Here's a strip that is already a strip. Let's see, will that fit somewhere? We can put that. See, we're supposed to leave it, not worry about it. We're supposed to let it overhang and then cut it off. So this would be the perfect little thing to put right here and then cut it off later. So I'm gonna put some glue on here instead of on the doily piece. This is a paper doily. You know, it was a placemat. <clears throat> if my voice sounds weird, it's, um, I don't know, I think I'm trying to get sick, but I'm re I refuse, so I've been taking vitamins, and I refuse to get sick, so we'll s I'll let you know. <laughs> but it's not, I got my COVID vaccine last Friday, so I don't know if it's my COVID, you know, effects from the COVID or just coincidence, but um, yeah, it is what it is, and so I'm just trying not to let it go where I actually do get sick. I just can feel it in my throat, but I'm actually not sick. I, I refuse. <laughs> I think it's a good um, thing to have an attitude when it comes to getting sick, you know, a refusal to get sick. I think it helps. <laughs> it helps me anyway. I, I, I mean, I have refused before and still gotten sick, but a lot of times when I refuse, I don't get sick. So that's my, that's my uh, uh, challenge uh, over getting sick, right? Just refuse it. <laughs> Okay, so this piece here, let's see, what is this? This is just some random paper, but it's kind of plain. I'd like to have something more patterned. Let's see what else I have here. Here's a piece of game, <clears throat> a game like score sheet. Let's use a piece of that. So we'll tear it. I think I'm going to tear it in half because see how it has circles here and circles here. And we'll see how it, how it ends up. Kind of rough there, I know, but we're going to be cutting it off the side. Let me put my glue on here so I don't have glue sticking out over the side where I don't need glue, you know what I mean? Let's see, this is about this long, so I'll put glue all over right here where it's going to be. All up to the side and up to the top edge there and right next to this paper. It might be overlapping, we'll see. Is it, is it going to overlap? Uh... No, I think I can put it right up against it. All right, so that's cool, right? Different kind of background. We've got all different backgrounds so far. Let's see what else I have here. Here's some very coffee dyed uh, music. Yeah, let's put this right here. Let's see about like that. That'll be pretty. And then we have, whoops, we have uh, three pieces covered already and I'm thinking that <clears throat> the pretty pieces we put on top should take less time right because we're just kind of we're not covering it with pretty pieces we are let's see we are just adding kind of like focal points with the pretty pieces let's see do I have my base covered there I think I almost need to move that up a little there we go Okay, so that those are completely covered. Okay, so let me put those over there for a second and we'll do these. So these are going this way. 
and let's see I don't want to do too much where I don't get to finish let me check my time real quick I got a little yeah we're about halfway so like I said the finishing the focal points shouldn't take too long so let's see let's not think about it too much and just get these these background pieces down here so maybe um, to go a little faster I'll put glue all over this piece here and then just smash down our collage pieces really quick let's see if that works for me without being so picky right all right so I hope you can collage with me tonight or, or today this will be posted or published on Good Friday, and I'll have the day off, so I plan on having a craft day, clean up my craft room day, and list some things in my Etsy day type of thing. Let's see, I need a little, there's a little piece showing right there. I need to put something right there. So let's put uh, glue on here this time. I need to get that glue covered up before it dries, but I just saw this little piece sticking out here. Okay, so this has already got glue on it, so let's just, like I said, smash it down. we got music and music, so we need something different in between. So we can use this, but I need more glue here, I think. Okay, so this can go right here. So that piece is covered. Okay, I'm going to leave it, put it over there with our others, and then we've got these two. Let's see what I have left to, um, let me get these out of the way so I can see what I have. All right, I've got some doily. I've got a little ticket. This ticket is um, something that came with uh, order, but I like the shape of it and the color of it. I not, don't necessarily like the words, just because I don't want the words on my, on my, uh, on my belly band, but um, I can cover them up, right? Allergies. I think I've got allergies and trying to get sick. Anyway, I will. I will survive. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and do that again. That works pretty well and pretty quick, right? Just put glue all over it, right up to the edges. And then smash our papers down quickly. Because I usually go pretty... I usually don't get a lot done. <laughs> on these uh, Rock, Roxy Weekly challenges. I feel like I only get two or three done, but I feel like I can possibly do more than that tonight. So let's see. Okay, so these are, like I said, gonna be, I gotta remember, they're gonna be horizontal. So this is horizontal, two. Okay, and so what else do I wanna stick down here? I really like this. I want to put it right here. I think I will. I think I'll just do it. That little ticket. But I'm going to need some glue right here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to need some glue right here. It's card stocky, so it's not as papery. I do like a strong base, usually on my belly bands, like a if I use a ribbon or. Uh, you know, fabric or whatever. I like it to the back of it to be something strong. So when you're tucking papers underneath or through or whatever, it's you know it doesn't wear. So let's see. I need another piece right here. Oh, here's a piece of wallpaper. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, and I need so that covers up that one. But I need a little glue right here where it overlapped. All right, now we'll let that one dry over with our others. We've got, what, one more to cover? All right, we're, making, we're doing good, we're doing good. So yeah, if you haven't seen this before, Rachel, you probably have, but just in case, Rachel does this every week. On Monday, she publishes a new video with her weekly challenge. So this was last Monday's, and... Um, I really like doing them because she does something different and every weekend like this week she said 
she likes doing things that she needs, you know, like in her stash for her journals and things. So, and that's something we all need usually is stuff for our crafts and our journals. So, all right, let's see. Let's do another piece of this yellow ledger here. And then I need another piece right there of something. So I've got that ledger. I've got that ledger. Oh, I've got a piece of green showing there. Let me push that over. Okay, and then what else? I need something different. I mean, this is a piece. Um, I'll just use a piece of this. Put it right here. This is some digital print, leftover digital print from my brown bunny. I did my brown bunny design team project. Okay, that's really sticking out, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut it off yet though. I just gotta remember it's going this way. Okay, now to do some focal points. So let's get the horizontal or the vertical ones back over here. And we'll do those, see if we can do those first. Okay, so maybe I will pulled out so much stuff, but I'm thinking I wanna do the mushrooms are already cut out, so that would be the fastest thing to do. So let me, these are tags I already made from the mushrooms, from the mushroom kit. But let me dump out the mushrooms here and see what I have. That, there's some little ones in there too. Okay, it's a little bunny pouch. <laughs> I got that at Dollar Tree um, a year or two ago. Actually, I've had it for a while. I think I got that one there. Somebody sent me one too. I don't I don't know if this is the one Maria sent me or the one I bought. I bought one and I think Maria sent me one, but I don't remember which one um, she bought me and which one I already had. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right, all right. So mushrooms, let's see. Let's go for a big one here. And let's just kind of do like this. So if it's going to be about half hanging out, so we'd be cutting off half of this one. And so we'll put glue about from here over. This is the really fun part where you just let things hang over. And then when you cut them off, you get to see what they look like all trimmed okay so we have a mushroom what else maybe um let me see a word say la vie here's a word this won't be hanging off i'm just going to put this up here say la vie okay and let's see what else i have here i don't know if we want a bunny or another mushroom If I have a bunny, I don't want it. Let's see. What goes with mushrooms? More mushrooms? <laughs> More mushrooms go with mushrooms? Uh, no, I don't like that. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, a butterfly. How about that? That would be cool. We'll put a butterfly up here. Yeah. Butterflies go with mushrooms, I think. I have a little tray of really tiny pieces up there. I'll sh Can you see it uh, right here? I'll bring it over in a second. I don't think you can see it. Yeah, I just have really tiny bits on here. Little bunnies and little circles that I punched out of children's books, pages, some uh, Tim Holtz flowers, and just there's some little butterflies and little birdies and stuff under there. So let's see, where's that little bird? Maybe we'll put a little bird on here. There's a little, oh, there's a little tiny flower. Let's see, there's a little bird under here somewhere. Maybe one of, let's see, this is a, the, here's the bird right here. Yeah, we'll put this little bird on here and this little flower and be done. How about that? It's a lot of pieces. I didn't really mean to put that many pieces on here, but I want it to just be adorable. Okay, so these aren't really hanging off, off except for the mushroom. And this is the little bird. So which way does he want to fly? He can fly up here. Or nope, right there maybe. Okay. He's kind of loosely fussy cut because he's so tiny. And he's from a children's book. Or he or she is from a children's book. So let's put him right there. 
Okay, so that one is done. We'll cut it off in a minute, but I think it looks really pretty. So, oh, what did I drop here? This is a little flower. Okay, we can put that somewhere. Let's put it right here. Let's put that somewhere right now. Use it up. Okay, so we'll put a little flower right here because it's cut flat on the bottom. So I just put it right there at the bottom. So it's already ready to go. It's cute, right? Right there. Okay, now maybe a bunny on this one. Let me grab a bunny. Let's see. Let me grab a bunny and put him right up here somewhere. We're just going to do it, not think about it too much. So we don't run out of time when we get some completed here. Uh, we'll put him up here with his clock. And then here is a strip that goes with the bunny that went with that kit. But I don't know. I don't think I don't like that. Live in the moment. Here's a word. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. So we used a bunny. We used a mushroom. And let's see what else we want to use here. Let me grab my tissue. Let me see this for a second. Is that coming up? No, I thought, I thought, I thought it was coming up. Okay, let's see what else we have here to put on here. I kind of would like something in here if I have something. Let me see. Oh, here's some postage stamps. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Here's some little tickets. Well, that's a possibility. These have mushrooms on them. Are they printed or did I? I think these are printed from the uh, kit. Because I made these originally. That's why I'm confused. I have the originals too. I'm like, are these the originals or are these the copies? These are actually copies of tickets I made. Okay, so let's just put this like right there, I think. And be done with this one. I just wanted to cover up some of the ice cream because it didn't really go with the overall kind of theme we got going here. <laughs> so I'm going to put that right there. I think, I think, and anything else. I feel like I need something else, but I don't know. I've uh, got a word there, so I don't want any more words. And let's see what else I have here. I've got some vellum type things here. Let's see. That's another strip. That's too dark. There's a camera. There's a hand. This is, is this a punch out? Or how do you do this? Yeah, this is a punch out. Maybe we'll put a hand here. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't make up my mind. No, I don't like that. Okay, we're going to leave it like it is. And I'll sew on it and decide if it needs something more later. Um... It does need something though. Let's see. I really would like to put something else on there, but I don't know what I want. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm gonna forget that one for now. Alright, let me see what time it is. Let's see if we have a few minutes. See, yeah, we've got a couple of minutes here, and then I'm gonna have to shut it down. But um, let's do this one with some of these pieces. Maybe. Let's see, where's our Cross horizontals. This would fit on here, but I don't know if I want that on there. Let's see, what else do I have here? Horizontal wise. Oh, let's see. You know, this will all come together when I cut it, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that because I know I'm running out of time. I'm trying to rush a little bit now because I'm running out of time. So let's just cut these two that I did finish. See what they look like. And that would help me decide, right, what else I need on here. So this is the actual where we started our base. So we're going to cut right there. And I think I got it pretty much cut off there. Oh, it looks better now that it's cut, doesn't it? 
See, it doesn't look like such a big area there. Okay, now I like it. All right. <laughs> that was the magic um, little thing we needed to do on this one. And then if I sew around, we'll have a nice border on there. So um, that is supposed to be a belly band. So, uh, and then let's cut this one. See what this one ends up to be like. I really do like things hanging off the side though. And then when you cut them off, they look really cool. I've done that. I've done it before, so. I know it looks awesome. See that? Half a mushroom. That looks really cool. Okay, let's cut this right here. Let's all cut. That's not even. I'll have to. Well, I don't have to even it up. But there we go. Isn't that cute? So we finished these two. And I know my camera's going to cut me off. And I wanted to get more done. But at least you saw the layering. And I can use this other half a mushroom over here. See that? Okay. So I will let you know on my next video, or one of my next videos, how the rest come out and show you the sewing. But that is basically what Rachel did this week. And so I hope you all have some fun with this uh, week's challenge. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching today and happy crafting.